frankincense. What comes to mind when you hear this word? Most of us probably go straight to the baby Jesus, receiving frankincense from the Magi along with gold and myrrh. Perhaps you think about essential oils or incense. But what is frankincense and where does it come from? Frankincense is a resin or sap collected from the Boswellia trees that are native to Arabia and Northern Africa. This resin has long been harvested and used for religious or medicinal purposes. The scent of this resin, when burned, gives off a distinct smell, which can be calming or soothing. Frankincense is commonly mixed with myrrh when blending incense, and these two ingredients became necessary for ceremonies in many religions. Because frankincense and myrrh are not found all over the world, a lucrative trade route called the Incense Trail arose that supplied these resins to the rest of the old world, going into Asia and even Europe. Frankincense has been the gift to the Savior, a sacrifice to gods, and a medicine to the common people. Let's explore three major civilizations where frankincense was used. Ancient Egypt, the land of the Pharaoh, dating back to 3500 BC. This empire lasted thousands of years and was surprisingly sophisticated in its knowledge of medicine. The papyrus Ebers, which date back to 1550 BC, is one of the two oldest surviving documents and contain records of Egypt's, Egypt's medical practices. Egyptian physicians treated many ailments, ranging anywhere from broken bones to bad breath. Plants were the main medicine, such as juniper, castor, poppy, and of course, frankincense. Frankincense was very important in the ancient Egyptian culture. Medicinally, it was used to treat asthma, infections, to stop bleeding. It was even used during the mummification process. Boswellia trees were highly sought after and even given as gifts. The religious use of frankincense, though, is what gave this substance its value. Yes, frankincense was absolutely, tremendously important in Egyptian religious ceremonies. Um, the Egyptian worshipped a pantheon of gods. Some experts believe there are about 1,400 deities, and frankincense was an acceptable offering for all of these gods. Now, sacrifices were going on all day long, all over the country, so you can just imagine how much frankincense was used in Egypt alone. But Egypt wasn't the only culture that valued incense. The Israelites, who had lived among the Egyptians for so long, burned frankincense for religious reasons as well. God himself instructed Moses on how and when incense should be burned, stating that fragrant incense should be burned twice daily before the Lord, on an altar made specifically for that purpose. The blend of incense is prescribed directly from God in Exodus chapter 30, verses 34 and 35, and no other incense or offerings were to be given on that altar. God also instructed the Israelites on the exact way to compound a sacred anointing oil, which would be used to consecrate and make holy the articles in the temple and the priests themselves. God then declares these blends sacred and warns the Israelites not to make or use them for any other purposes. Pure frankincense was used in both of these compounds. Further up in the Mediterranean, the Greeks used frankincense in the worship of their gods and viewed frankincense as the true incense. Greece was even further from the native region of the Boswellia trees than was Egypt or Israel, so incense was significantly more expensive. By the time frankincense actually got to the Mediterranean, it was very, very expensive. It was more valuable than gold, but the Greeks did use it in the worship of a lot of gods, especially Apollo, Dionysus, and the female deities. Um, of course, they didn't only use frankincense, but it was very important. They would either burn it by itself uh, to, to sacrifice in and of itself to the gods, or they might even sprinkle it on top of an existing sacrifice. And that aroma that was, you know, uh, let off when they burned the frankincense, they actually viewed it as feeding the gods. So they're actually very similar to the Egyptians in that way. But um, you did have the Pythagoreans, they we, they did not eat any meat so they really valued frankincense and incense in general as a sacrifice because it was a bloodless sacrifice frankincense is used today for its fragrance and it's known for its calming effect the egyptians thought that when they offered frankincense to their gods it might calm and please the gods making them more likely to grant the prayers of their worshipers a study down in 2008 found that frankincense can actually counteract depression and is in fact a psychoactive compound, which confirms what the ancient people suspected for thousands of years. But too much of this substance, whether inhaled or ingested, goes beyond a calming effect. 
In the first century AD, Dioscorides noted in his De Materia Medica that frankincense could cause madness or even kill if ingested in large amounts, specifically if ingested with wine. So did worshippers from any religion get a high when burning frankincense, or did its aroma simply add to the solemn environment? Researchers have yet to answer this question. Frankincense is still important today, but is far less sacred than it once was. Sacrificed to gods from all cultures and used in homes throughout the world, this resin has been part of cults and medicine alike and has a history as rich as its aroma.